Wake up! For the third time this week, there's a new feature in Mid Journey. This one is also a time saver, and to be honest, I could see a lot of people using it. Introducing the repeat feature. Type dash dash repeat with a number after your prompt for that job to run that many times. There's a little typo here, I think. Just ignore that. For example, imagine cats repeat five will create five generations of that prompt. Now, is that useful? To me, no, but there's one way we can make it even better. Let's take a look at it in action. I tried the phrase, psychonautic alien superhero unsplash repeat five. Here's the first one. I think they're kind of cool, but if I saw this, I don't know if I would repeat the prompt five times. Do you know what I mean? Here's the second batch. I think they're cool. Third, pretty cool. Fourth, yeah, I'm coming around. And these are pretty sick. I like number one. I like number two. I like number four a lot. So this repeat feature is here to help us explore prompts at a faster pace. And the thing we can add to really explore these prompts is a chaos value. I recommend a low chaos value. If you saw 10 prompts at chaos 50, you're gonna get a lot of nonsense. But chaos 4? That might really help you explore all the possibilities. So I changed up the prompt and added a little chaos. Full body shot, psychonautic alien superhero, intricate armor, unsplash, C4 repeat four. And look at these. Even with just Chaos 4, you're getting four distinct elements, four distinct generations. And I think that is so powerful. Here's the second batch. Pretty cool. Like, I like number one. Let's just upscale that now. And I like number three, to be honest. But then look at these. I just got goosebumps again. Look at number one. I think that is so beautiful. Such a cool picture. And number four, that is quite striking. Eventually, there will be a zoom out feature in Mid Journey. Not exactly out painting, but taking a photo that's been cut off and just zooming out of it to see the bigger picture. I would absolutely love that for number four. That's so cool. And then look at number two. I haven't even registered that in my brain. And number four is so, ah, oh, this is so sick. Now chaos four, repeat four. That is probably my biggest suggestion of how you should be using this. Let me show you why even chaos 14 is not the best idea. Full body shot, psychonautic alien superhero, intricate armor, unsplash, C14. Even at C14, you start to see nonsense. Like what, what, what is number three it's just, that's so ugly but but who am i to judge and number four it's pretty nonsense too here's another batch of it number one could be okay but his finger's kind of funny number three is actually not bad number two sucks and number four that's what it what is that, the lower half? I don't know, I guess I like his honeycomb armor, but it's pretty awful. These are kind of cool. I don't mind number four, and I can't really tell what's going on in number three, but maybe it's okay. I don't know, chaos is a gamble, even at a low value, like 14, so maybe I need to suggest ultra low values of chaos. However, I want you to be the judge of this next prompt. I added chaos 24 and stylized 1000 to the psychonautic alien. Do you like what it came up with? I mean, I like number four a lot. I think a high stylized value can really save the chaos when it gets out of control, but this will burn up a lot of fast hours if you're not careful. Number two is so sick. I wish I could zoom out on that as well. And number four is like extra creepy. I'm kind of a fan. Oh my gosh, look at number one. And number three, that is so beautiful to me. I mean, oh, number one is just crazy. Number one is pretty sick here. Ah, number three is beautiful. That blue and that orange. So if you're going to raise your chaos value, I highly recommend bumping up the stylized value as well. But let's do a live example. We'll write a new prompt, add some chaos, put it on repeat and see what we come up with. But what do I want to see? You know, imagine a nautical spaceship, vibrant painting. I'm going to say paint splatter. I'm going to go C5. That might be too much. And I'm going to go S700. And then I'm going to hit repeat four. Are you sure you want to imagine four prompts? A uh, yes, sir. Boom. They all happen at once. It's kind of exciting. Saves a lot of time. Granted, again, I don't know. I don't know how many use cases this has other than exploring a prompt with the aid of the chaos value. Because if you didn't use chaos, each grid would be pretty similar to each other. And once you've seen one grid, you can kind of imagine more generations of it. With the chaos, you really don't know what you're going to get. And with the high stylized value, you're going to let Midjourney be more creative and ultimately probably make you better images. And it's done. Let's take a look. The first set. Oh, no. number two is 
clearly amazing. Uh, I love that. Upscale. The second batch. Ooh, look at number three coming straight on like that. that that's pretty cool. Okay, these are a little more abstract. I do like number one. I like them. And then we have these. I like number two. I think that color palette around the outside of the ship, that's amazing. And look how different number two is than number three. If you had four pictures that all looked like number three, that'd be kind of boring and maybe a waste of fast hours. However, with chaos... Okay, wait, you want to try something? We'll do the same prompt. We'll bump the chaos value up and we'll see how crazy mid-journey can get. How does that sound? Okay, I'm going to go with C19 and I'm a little worried, but for fun... Let's bump it up to 49. And you know what? We'll just go down to repeat three. And then let's go to 79. Repeat three. And then let's go to Chaos 100, Stylize 1000. What's it gonna come up with? All right, let's start it here. C19 at 700. I think number two is strikingly beautiful and number three is pretty sick as well. Oh, look at these. Number four, that's crazy. I love it on the black background. I love it on the white background. And number four is crazy. And number one's actually really beautiful too. Oh, look at number two, man. Goosebumps. I love that rusted feel. Now to C49 at 700. Look how different they all are. Look how funny number four is that's that's hilarious i gotta be honest i'm currently looking trying to choose for a piece of art to put behind me on a wall i don't know if it's going to be in this room but either way i'm looking for pictures to print and i've made over 30,000 pictures so it's really hard to choose and and doing little experiments like this makes it even harder because i'd hang up 10 of these if i could they're kind of expensive to print so i really don't know how i'm going to choose my first piece i kind of thought i knew what i wanted and then now seeing some of these don't know. Oh, C49. Oh my god, look at number four. That is just, that's ludicrous. That's beautiful. Number three is sick. Number one, oh, it's so nice. And then another batch of C49. <laughs> look how bad number three is. And look how interesting number two is. That's a, quite a dichotomy in the same generation. Oh, <laughs> look at number three. That's insane. That's a conversation starter right there. And honestly, I like number one a lot too. <laughs> I don't know. Oof. Look at number two and number three. Wow, like, what are we? Oh, how would you? Oof. If you had to choose one of these ships to put on a wall behind you, which one would you choose? Please let me know. Oh my God. Look at, these are magical. I like number four a lot. That's quite striking. That white paint splatter. Holy cow. That's uh, that's something else. All right, here's the last batch. C100 S1000. <laughs> Definitely nonsense, but definitely beautiful. Number one is amazing. Number three is amazing, even though I don't really know what I'm looking at. And number four, that's quite striking as well. Uh, I don't even know how to describe that. That's hallucinogenic right there. And I'll just note this now. I love how upscales are just instant in version five. I know some people, and even me included, would prefer if upscales made them even bigger. But after using upscales all the way to version four, you know, it would take time to get your upscales. Now that they're instant, <laughs> don't take that away from me i like it a lot oh here's another oh my gosh look at this star destroyer thing in number four that's incredible oh how can i not get that printed and put on my wall ah, that's so cool and then look at this one how can i not get number one printed and put on my wall that's crazy how similar that is to the previous one you know and look at what well, look, at, look at number three man that is so gorgeous like that yeah number four bro i can't even that's the end of the video. That's repeat. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.